Yo, what's up YouTube, Fell here and today we are going to be going over a Dead by Daylight tutorial and it's going to be a nurse for beginners. Now the reason I'm saying nurse for beginners is because I'm not no proclaimed expert on DVD. Um, I haven't got loads and loads of hours in it, I've got around 150 hours so far but my main place to play is Killer. Um, I've recently picked up Nurse and I found her quite difficult to learn the basics learn how to use her properly and sort of discover a way of how to get the best of my abilities to gain 4Ks and things like that, like, like you would with any other killer. Um, I play Myers main is, he's my main go-to guy, Myers. Um, and I did start off with Huntress as well, um, but I slowly moved on to Myers and I'm exploring more killers as we go on. So. This is a guide for very, very beginner killers or very beginner nurse players as well. So I'm not going to go into very expert tips and tricks and things like that. So if that's what you're looking for, this isn't going to be the video for you. Um, there's plenty of other videos out there that you can go and check out. But this is going to be the like basics of nurse, um, how she works and some tips and tricks for very beginners, how to get 4Ks with nurse, how to get players down and things like that, because I really did struggle and these are my tips and tricks and what is going to help you become a top tier killer nurse. So first things first, the basic mechanics of the nurse is the same as every killer. You have your basic attack, which is using her hacksaw blade thingy. I don't really know what it is, um, but basically that is her basic attack. Her special attack, um, which is her blink, is not a teleport before people get too ahead of themselves it is just fast movement that's all it is it isn't a teleport whatsoever just an increased speed basically so her movement speed is actually slower than normal survivors her movement speed is 3.85 meters a second whereas survivors run at four meters a second so you are actually slower than a survivor and they will be able to outrun you however her blink speed is 13.33 meters a second, giving you that advantage. And I believe she is the fastest killer in the game when using her ability. Um, but for anyone, I'll put all the details on the screen now as well. Her terror radius is 32, which is standard for the killers. And she has three main perks, which is Nurse's Calling, Phanophotobia, and Strider as well. Now, these perks can come in handy. It depends what sort of setup you're going for. But the best setup you want to do is you want to run perks that are not chase perks. She is not a chase killer. She is one that you want to run um, tracking and slow down perks for because that's going to work to her advantage. And I don't know if you guys know, but a lot of rank one killers and top tier killers do main nurse. She is quite a high tier killer, whereas guys like Myers and things like that they're good but when you're playing against like a survivor with friends and things like that you have no chance um so this is why she is considered the best and top time killer of dvd because once you learn her she is absolutely insane so moving on to um her abilities her her blink the longer that you charge this blink is the further you're going to go so you can do a maximum of 20 meters without any add-ons so 20 meters is the longest you can do if you just hold your ability button whatever you got that to for me it's m2 on my mouse so if i hold m2 as long as it goes um you will be able to travel 20 meters and then you have a second blink after that she she has two blinks um at the second blink you can then travel 12 meters for the second blink however if you do leave it too long um you will fatigue now fatigue is something that will happen after you blink and you don't get a don't get a hit with your attack button so she will fatigue after every blink if you blink once or you blink twice she will fatigue every time and then she regens her blinks after fatiguing but it actually starts while she's fatiguing so just bear that in mind when you are playing the nurse um she can blink through uh items such as pallets windows certain areas certain areas are off limits but you'll you'll soon learn what you can and can't blink through you can also blink up and down levels as well so if you're playing maps like the game you can uh traverse between the top floor and the lower floor by looking up or down uh depending on which way you want to go so that comes in handy quite as well now with the fatigue it is quite slow 
Um, I think it's 3.5 seconds is the maximum you can do. So if you blink twice and then you actually miss your hit as well with the attack, that will be a 3.5 second cooldown um, while you recover from the fatigue. Now this this is the only downfall to learning a nurse because obviously you're going to be blinking a lot to reach survivors as you're slow um, and then you are going to want to attack and the thing to note here the key point that everyone is going to struggle with to start off with like i did i really did struggle along with this is that she attacks shorter than her normal attack so when when you go in for the blink uh say you blink twice to a killer then you attack the attack range or the the lunge is shorter than the normal attack whereas if you're just floating around chasing after a survivor they try and 360 you or whatever and you get close range you don't blink and you just lunge at them her attack is no uh, is longer than the the normal lunge range so that's what you've got to sort of decide how you're going to play are you going to lunge and try and get that little extra bit of lunge without the blink or do you want to blink and then suffer a shorter blink shorter lunge even <laughs> before you uh attack the survivor if you get what i mean one of the things i really struggled with when playing nurse was blinking between higher and lower levels so if you're playing a map like the game which is going to be awful for you as a beginner as a killer unless you pick her up really well naturally the thing you're going to be doing is teleporting between sorry blinking between upper and lower levels now i struggled with this a lot and i know you guys probably were as well so a little tip here is to run something called the played flannel which is an add-on for her abilities now the played flannel uh is a brown tier so it's quite cheap and they do come quite often and this will really help you beginner players learn how to blink with a nurse it allows a nurse to see the blink target locations which is where she's going to end up after that blink so for the first and second blink you'll get the target location indicator and as you can see in the video behind me i'm using that to show you guys how it actually works the longer you hold your ability button is the further it goes out and that's how where you're going to land and i think this is going to be a game changer for you because it will show you if you're going to teleport up i keep saying teleport but it's not a teleport she will show you where it's going to land if you're going to go up a level down a level where you're going to land um so for beginners this is going to be a key part of your playing style because it's really going to help you out in the long term you'll learn how a uh, range is going to work and you'll learn how long you need to hold it for the distance that you need to cover i think that the maximum is two seconds for the 20 meters um but you will soon learn and you won't need to use the plate flannel anymore another thing to run with the plate flannel that i'm using in this video is the wooden horse the wooden horse moderately decreases the extra post blink fatigue duration applied by missed blink attack so basically what that means is after you blink and you miss a basic attack you will it will remove the extra fatigue that it puts on top because for every missed attack i think it's 0.5 seconds it adds to your fatigue time at totaling a 3.5 or 4 second fatigue time so running that as a beginner nurse will really really help you guys out and that is going to play to your advantage when playing nurse for the first couple of times it will help you learn her a lot quicker and it will help you learn the distance that she covers in the the ability of the blinks now moving on to perks i'm going to go over perks very briefly because what you're going to need to know is that certain perks are going to work for her well and other perks are not I'm going to go over the perks that are going to work for her best and this is down to you how you run them obviously you're going to need to play other killers as well and get their perks as well this is not just a, a list of her perks it's going to be a mixture as you do with every other killer you run different perks so the best perks that you are going to use with the nurse is sloppy butcher nurses calling bitter murmur uh, you've got whispers barbecue and chili is one that i would recommend i'm not running it in this match but i haven't unlocked that's what I'm, i haven't unlocked it yet so that's why i'm not running the barbecue and chili for that match um you've got infectious fry shadowborn agitation corrupt intervention x ruin noed phanophotobia which is one of the nurses perks as well pop goes the weasel and unrelenting they're just a few of the perks that work really well for her 
So the perks that I'm running in this game are Sloppy Butcher, Nurse's Calling, A Bit of Murmur and Whispers. Now these really played to my advantage. This was the first game that I actually played with this loadout because I was playing with a slightly different perk loadout before this. But this really worked to my advantage. And I think for you guys, if you try and run that to start off with with Nurse, it will play to your advantage because obviously you've got the... Um, because obviously you've got the combination of Sloppy Butcher and Nurse's Calling which will basically increase the time that it takes for them to heal or it will give you more time healing because they're going to be spending all that time trying to heal all the time. Um, and then plus the Nurse's Calling, you're going to be getting easy kills because Nurse's Calling helps you see who's being healed within a certain radius of the killer itself. Now with that you'll be able to blink straight onto them and secure a hit or a kill uh, or down even depending on how you're playing and how if they're if they've been fully healed or not if you catch them quick enough um but that is going to work to your favor i wouldn't advise running any chase perks because she has got quite a good chase herself as the base killer you want to be running the tracking and slow down perks for gens and tracking the players etc one thing i'm going to say for you guys is to prepare to lose a lot to start off with i stream on twitch and my chat see me lose god knows how many times in a row maybe just getting one kill if not letting them all escape um because i just couldn't secure the kill it does take a little while getting used to nurse and you're gonna encounter toxic players playing a nurse i have met so many toxic players just playing the nurse just because i haven't got any kills or my blinks miss and then they'll be toxic throughout the game um and you're just gonna have to prepare yourself for that it's gonna be frustrating you have to grit your teeth for it but i promise you once you get out of the end of it it's gonna be so worth it this 4k game that i got right here made me feel like the best that i've i've felt playing nurse ever because i managed to get 4k i got the, i got all four kills and my blinks were on point okay i missed a few you'll be able to see that in the video but majority of my blinks were on point and i'm really impressed with myself because that is I'm learning, I'm getting better as the nurse and I can feel myself getting better. These perks are really well suited for the nurse and I think you guys will be able to do exactly the same as me and even pick it up quicker than me because I'm giving you this head start with this tutorial on the beginner nurse plays. Now I will be doing probably further ones in the future of this when I get better nurse, learn her advanced tactics etc etc but for now this is just a beginner's tutorial. This is this is literally for you guys who are struggling to play nurse you've never played nurse before and you just want to learn the basics get her up and running and then you can learn more as you go on now i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did leave me a like drop a sub and comment down below what you liked if you want to see more let me know if you have any questions let me know i stream on twitch on mondays wednesdays and thursdays at the minute at 8 p.m gmt uk time so if you do have any questions about dbd come in the chat and we'll be able to help you out we'll answer any questions you've got um, but if not, I'll see you around. I'll see you in the next video. Peace guys.